The thing about tektites is you only get them in a special case. They, when, when an impactor comes, the average angle that an impactor comes in is 45 degrees. Mm -hmm. And to get tektites, you need to have something that's coming in at a low angle, probably less than about 20. And okay. then what happens is the tektites are downrange. They're on the opposite side of the crater from the side that the impactor entered. Okay, so I didn't know that fact about that low oblique angle as being a major factor in the formation of tectites. I didn't know that, but I'm... So I've learned something here that's going to be... Yeah, I and also, of now. course, this tectites are extremely glassy. Mm -hmm. So you have to have a substrate that's got the right composition to melt to form a silicate glass. Mm -hmm. In theory, you could have a substrate that didn't have the right composition and it would melt and, and, and you wouldnn't have something that was preserved. Chesapeake crater, Bay crater created a tectite field and a yes, lot of those did. those are found in Georgia. There's a, the fall line down near Macon where I guess somewhere near that Eocene, I think it was Eocene, around 35 it's million Eocene. years. It's Eocene, it's 80 million years roughly. 80 million? Yes. It's e Eocene, yeah, okay. When it hit, the splash came down over Georgia and there's a outcropping of that strata. I forget what it's called, but if you go down there after a heavy rain, oftentimes people will go down and it'll wash out tektites that are from the Chesapeake Bay impact.